Good afternoon, everybody. Michael Coleman. No, this is not a red zone. You have to wait till Wednesday for that. Uh, I'll be here for that. But we have a very special individual we're going to be talking to, Lee Steinberg. And this is a gentleman who knows everything about the world of sports when it comes to the particular athletes. Uh, he has like 62 first-round draft picks and, and like football, basketball, baseball probably. At least two of them you know about. Lee uh, has handles Patrick Mahomes currently, an East Texas guy, as you all know, and of course the, the great Earl Campbell. But we're going to talk about something different here. The, you know, a week, It was a week ago today that Aaron Rodgers is all ready to go out and do his thing and make his debut with the New York Jets. And then four plays in, boom, he tears his Achilles and he's out for the season now. Supposedly he did a new procedure surgically wise that could have him back in six months. The guy's 39. We'll see. And if anybody can come back from something like that, it is certainly Aaron Rodgers. And so the, the topic, which has always been out there, but it, had, it has heated up since then, that being grass versus turf. Um, I remember when I was younger and I was playing college ball, Astral turf was the thing. It made you faster. It made you feel like you were invincible, blah, blah, blah. But that's been around for a while now. And so the injuries, you know, appear to occur more and more with Astral turf and the NFLPA. They say we want grass. And to help us address that issue, my friend, we've met a few times at the Super Bowl Lee, you've been gracious enough to come and join me on Media Row. I'm Michael Coleman here in East Texas. You know about East Texas and Tyler. I know you do. I like, plus, I like that box of cereal you got over your left shoulder there. <laughs> hey, let's talk about this. This topic has been around forever, but it's kind of heated up more since a week ago. Has it, has it been on the back burner and is now back on the front? It has been an ongoing issue for probably the last 50 years. And ever since they invented artificial turf, people have been crying out to play the game on grass. Grass is what football is meant to be played on. Grass has give to it. And artificial turf has a tendency to have players injured at a higher rate. Football is already an injury uh, played game. It's like an auto accident, a car accident on every play, the body sitting together. I had a client back in 1995. Uh, Kajana Carter was the first pick in the entire NFL draft. He's running back out of Penn State, and he ended up uh, going out like his second game, <clears throat> blowing out his knee. No one hit him. It was an unassisted injury. And afterwards, he said, my foot <clears throat> got caught in the rug. So the artificiality of it hit his foot at the wrong angle. Now, football is a game that's in its prime right now. They have millions and millions of dollars coming in from television and stadia and merchandise and, and uh, gambling and every other source. And they can well afford the incremental cost that goes into having grass in the stadium and the fact that it rains during the winter, it, it snows certain places, and the, tur the grass gets torn up. Um, but that's just a management problem. And the safety of the players is important. And let me make one last point. The salary cap system in professional football means that if a team is paying its left tackle or its quarterback an incredible amount of money as a starter, the backup is not at the same level. The backup is a real drop off in terms of talent. And it's because there's not enough money in the cap to accommodate both a mega contract for the starter and a big contract for the backup. So all that has to happen is to lose one key player and he's irreplaceable and it can totally alter the playoff run of a team when they lose a player. Well, the way you, when you put it that way, it almost certainly has, although it's only two weeks into the season for the Jets in terms of Aaron Rodgers. And I know the NFL is always preaching safety first, safety first. 
we hear a lot of lip action and word action, but we just don't really see them actually do this. What's it going to take for the owners to say, you know what, you're right. You guys are a premium, and we need to change that playing surface to real grass. So the collective bargaining agreement doesn't come up for a fair, fair number of years now, but they're able to negotiate issues like this in between contracts. It will take the players to be outspoken in terms of this issue, as well as the NFLPA. I'm I'm uh, back the NFLPA and taking a stand for player uh, safety. The only issue against it is cost. And because you have multi-purpose stadiums where they may have a concert or some other event and they want a different surface, but that cost is, is the minimus given what the risk is and look they owe it as the number one sport in america the number one televised event in america uh to make the players as safe as possible that whole season for the jets was built around aaron Rodgers, and as you make the point the television uh coverage was built around him i mean this is pretty much going to be the aaron Rodgers season in the nfl they were going to have them play as long as they won a fair amount you know on every monday night and sunday night and thursday night game because of it being the nation's largest city and the drama of this multiple mvp and super bowl winner switching to a new team and the sad thing is Aaron Rodgers looked like he had had a personality transplant. No longer was he the uh, grouchy, uh, uh, dismissive Aaron Rodgers. He he did everything right when he came to New York. I mean, he he was at every uh, game for the Yankees and other teams, and he was gracious and and. He had paved this wonderful entry, but this is what can happen. He won't be the last. Well, you're right, because he bought in. He surely did. Before we let you go, it broke earlier today that our favorite East Texas high school football player and now NFL guy has restructured his contract. Can you comment on that? No, I'm going to let him comment on it because uh, uh, he's perfectly capable, but it just shows that a great player gets rewarded. Well, on that, okay, and we'll do that. I'm pretty sure we'll hear from him. When you have a player like a Patrick Mahomes who has transcended his sport in such a short period of time, um, that is not an easy thing to do to keep his feet completely leveled on the ground. What impresses you most about his stature and how he has risen to it and continues to be the guy that everybody here in town says he still is? That he's maintained um, his uh, inner uh peace he's still a person that says how are you uh he's a person that cares about other people and uh an exemplary role model well lee thank you so much and uh maybe i'll see you in las vegas at the super bowl buddy all right there you go we have a date okay take